Welcome back to Factorio Hyperbase. Uh, well, I are building the Hyperbase series. Um, a small amount of time's elapsed, not maybe as much as you might think. We have finished all of the tech, though. Um, so, I mean, from now on, it's basically worker robot speed and mining productivity, and I don't care about any of these military ones. Um, those will be our focus. We can't do it without space science. We don't have any silos, so we can't do space science at the moment. Don't worry about it. Uh, last episode, I left you with half <laughs> of this cleared away again. Um, and don't fret, we've added a few combinators now. Um, let me take you through it one step at a time. I have sort of tested it, it looks like it works. I haven't actually tested this bit, but basically a train will pull up here, it will unload. Um, we have in here set to read robot statistics. In particular, notice total construction robots is T, available construction robots is Z. Um, so here we have Z equals T. So we're going to put some construction robots in here. And the only situation where Z will equal T is typically when um, they, uh, the, all of the robots are idle. So available equals total. Um, at all other times, it won't. But if it does, then we set an A. That's the first of the A's. The next A is, do we have enough solar panels um, to lay down a pattern? That will set an A. The next A is, do we have enough accumulators to lay down a pattern? Um, that will set an A, etc, etc. If we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 A's, um, A is greater than or equal to 6, we set an R. If we have an R, this is a test R, so this won't actually get used, it will stay off. But if we have an R, we start a little clock. R equals 1, then T is input count. T set up like this will increment. Um, because here is basically a memory cell, and this one will say, oh, here's a new T, add it into, because you're feeding it back on itself, so it will just keep incrementing. I'll show you that in action at the due course, but basically T keeps adding up and adding, adding up and adding up. Eventually, um, T's greatest amount that it can get to is, um, let's just have a look at that number, 3600 exactly, okay. Over here, if it has got to 35999, which will only do for a single tick, um, it will then set a C condition. Um, C will, um, this will, this is now our, um, our memory cell, because it also feeds back on itself, just like the timer, but this is a, a much rarer event where you get a C. Um, once you get a C here, this is the same as our C to D before. So um, C by itself, uh, actually, C by itself is not quite going to do what I want. I have just realized. But yeah, basically C um, was going to control the X and D was going to control the Y. But if there is a D, we need to do a subtraction from the X. Um, we need to basically make the multiplier on x uh, reduced by 10 for each d. Because the idea is I want to build, say, a block here, and then we go along the x's, and then we come back to the beginning and build the next row. So, yes, I need to um, take into account d. So, x equals x times c x also needs to equal um, or x how about I get 10 times d um, we need another arithmetic Okay, so D can come off here. D times 10. Set. Uh, is it 10 or is it minus 10? I think it's actually minus 10, you know. D 
times minus 10. Um, I might make this an output E. So maybe another arithmetic which will uh, take um, an input of C and an input of E and this will simply be C plus E output C um, or maybe to be on the safe side output F and change this multiplier from X by C to X by F um, and you can come in to there um, so yeah sorry about my simple explanation I haven't tested this anymore but basically now the idea is when it does a Y row it adjusts for the Y row so that our um, C value uh, for as far as X is concerned is not um, 11, 12, 13 but it goes back to 1 and our Y value uh, is incremented so it goes up. Um, X and Y are exactly 100 because there's overlap so it's 102 wide but with X and Y we have an overlap to um, get the result we want um, and so we then have the same multiplier against Y to get a Y output um, this is a simple decider if C is greater than 0 at the moment C is 0 then we'll create the construction robot we come over here now note this is a constant combinator so it doesn't have um, it doesn't have that uh, tick delay so as soon as they're like these create a, a tick well there's probably several ticks actually because each one has a tick delay um, as soon as there is the C value it's going to come straight through and the calculated X will be delayed which actually is kind of a problem feeding that directly in there now because we have these extra delays um, yeah I don't quite know how this is going to behave if we're going to end up with an 11 anyway in spite of this mechanism because this one doesn't go through the same mechanism. Well, you know what? I think we just have to try it and see. So what I'm going to do is have a look at this train. Is it loaded up fully yet? Uh, no, it's still loading accumulators, but we can probably um, we can probably create about three of these patterns before this thing is going to be um, completely empty so if we add go to sol uh, not stone that is definitely not what we want uh, go to solar unload until um, inactivity let's make it 10 seconds say and solar load uh, we'll worry about that later let's just head to solar U um, we obviously need to increase batteries even with this um, now paused the flow of batteries down here is not is not as strong as perhaps we'd like is there a reason it's not the acid so I don't really know it's just a bit slow making batteries so we need more is there a reason into oh, let's go back up here so this is now counting off so um, you can see the signals there uh, we're missing robots though so we're still not going to get anywhere let's run back to base let's grab some robots um, we'll 
grab a fair few, I guess. So this is hashtag solar. Um, we'll grab a fair few. I'll have a sip of coffee while we're on underway. Um, because this is our our construction to start delivering us power beyond where we were at. Um, yeah, I need... I don't need this lot so much. What I do need is some construction... I can only fit 500 in there, actually. That's not so good. Um, construction robots. Uh, I can get 600 now. I don't think it's actually got anywhere to put these other things at the moment. You know what? I'm going to run up here and just dump into here with the coal and with that. Uh, I need one more. There you go. One more provided. So, um, I can order... Oh, I had a gap up there anyway. I can order, say, a thousand of these. We may not even have a thousand. Uh, oh, they're not connected to the network. I need to actually go and pick them up from the end of our robot build. How many do we have? We do have a thousand. Okay, that's good. There you go. Um, I'll just take a. Uh, I'll just take a thousand. Exactly. Uh, let's head back up to our solar build and see if we can get it to work. This is the first time I've actually used recursive blueprints. If you are wondering. Um, okay, so we're going to hashtag solar. Um, I need to adjust the train so that it can handle picking up junk because that's kind of the site um, and we'll need to fix it at main base as well so it can handle junk the train has actually gone uh, if we have a look at this we should see we've got five A's um, I'm actually surprised that the Oh, there is no Z and T signal. But all of these are enough to spark this off. So let's put some robots in there. That should mean that we now have six A's. We've only got five. One, two, three, four, five, six. What do we not have? Uh, I don't understand that. We have 50. What's the greater than or equal to 1? It should create an A. It's not creating anything because it's not actually connected. There we go. So we have our 6 A's. That's given us an R. This is now counting up. The count has to equal 3,500. So it's basically... Um, a whole minute. Um, you can see it's getting up there fairly quickly. It's not quite as exciting when you can't see all of the numbers counting out. Um, but what will happen is eventually this will get to the 3500, which will be enough to trigger this. We'll actually get two initially because as this is a um, an offset, so the X is to cancel out the X and the Y is to um, push it up. 53 units. Uh, maybe I do need to fix that up. So that it doesn't do that. Well, there you have it. Uh, we have a construction pattern. Why are these guys not doing anything? Here we go. They just took a little while. They're starting to build. Um, T has reset because they're not equal. We have a C1 there. 
Um, they're building this out pretty quickly. It did create two as expected. <laughs> we might actually need some more of the... Oh, I know why I had the extra 50. I had the extra 50 because I had 50, my own 50. Um, I probably want this to be at least uh, twice as many as that. Uh, maybe I will give it the... There's actually 950 now. That should let it build faster. Um, you have about 12 of the of these guys. How about I put down another couple there, and maybe a, another one over here, just to help the charging of the masses. So you can see it's building these two fairly quickly. Um, I'm hoping it will actually finish fairly soon. Um, do we still have we still have five A's? So the only one that's not is the T and the Z, which you can see have differed. Um, it's dumped stuff here that it would have come across. Um, we're already getting these plugged into our system. One and a half thousand, that's probably 90 megawatts. So it's not like we're actually having a power crisis, but um, yeah. Kind of nice, all the same. So these are running at maximum capacity to try and charge the accumulators. It looks like they should slow down any time soon when the accumulators are fully charged. Although they're still they're still loading up. There's only 25, 24. So as soon as that number drops back, we will. no doubt get a further expansion. Um, can we see this? You can see the pattern. I actually could do... Well, there should be a radar up here that's working. It is, but it can't quite uncover that one line there. That's slightly annoying. Um, there you go. We've got six. We've got R. This is counting up again. Um, the point of the weight is just to make sure they haven't run into a problem and temporarily returned here. Um, are we waiting too long by waiting a whole minute? Not sure. Probably not. When the thing gets running, I mean it's going to run out of uh, these fairly quickly. It's only really got enough for... Uh, uh, it's probably got enough for two more. And then it will stop until it gets a new delivery. Um, let's just see that in progress. 2.9, 3 uh, There you go. It automatically does that. The bots kick off. So the clock has reset. And they're marking out another um, block. Um, C is up to 2, although it has actually at this point done 3. It'll be interesting to see what it does once it gets to Y, but um, that's basically how it's going to work. It's going to do 
uh, 10 long and then it's going to start putting them on top and just keep going up um, basically until we come along and stop the process so I am going to call that done um, now we just need to sort out getting these materials back on the train and unloading them at the other end and getting the train sort up sent up here kind of automatically Oh, and probably increasing battery production as well. Those would be the few things that we need to do. And that's going to save me a lot of effort running backwards and forwards. Um, which I don't really want to do. And no, I don't want a thousand of those. Thanks very much, game. Um, okay, so... How are you going? In fact, not very well in terms of accumulators. Because most of the accumulator machines are not running. Well, okay. That is okay. Um, let's just disable these for the moment. Alright. You need the ability to pick up um, wood, stone, and to a lesser extent, coal. How about your coal? Um, your wood. I'm going to guess wood probably needs the most. And you are stone. Whoops. And so, uh, you guys can probably get those back. Let's have some unload capability on the other side into, I guess for now, passive providers. Uh, You can be wood, so can you, you can be stone, and you can be coal. Um, do I care about that? Not that much. You guys are actually powered, that's fantastic. Okay, so now what we need to do is, yeah, get more accumulators getting built. They're definitely the slaggards here. Slaggards, the laggards, the slow guys. Why are you so slow? It says battery, it should take five seconds. One iron, one copper. Five seconds, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of you supposedly taking five seconds. That should be two a second. Uh, how many are we consuming? Two batteries a second. This thing takes five batteries. So we are consuming five a second. We're getting two a second. We're trying to consume five a second. I guess that kind of explains it. We need to two and a half times this build then. Um, I've only got three machines on me. Tick. Put you there for the moment. Um. Let's get our guys in place. Um, that's that one. Um. Let's 
So I need another five. Doesn't look like it kind of wants to. Just add itself on at the end. Maybe it's easier to just do that and then get rid of some of it. Uh, maybe. So, one, two, three, four, five, basically to this point here. Okay, so I need pipe, I need uh, chem plants, um, maybe some other stuff. Uh, let's have some pipe, let's have some of that pipe, let's have some chem plants. I know 10's not going to be enough, let's just get 30, see if that works. more pipe to grounds. Got them there. Alright, let's try that. Um, yeah, let's try that. This will need to be like so. Oh, we're missing lamps, that's what we're missing. Uh, you need that, you need that. You need that. Zero. Here needs a revision. As does this. Okay, that's flowing now. Uh, we needed some more blue inserters. Alright, no, I don't need these guys anymore, but I do need some blue inserters. If you'll be so kind, guys. inserters, oh, and lamps. I know I'm making lamps, we might as well get them while we're in this zone. Make it all pretty. How is the sulfuric holding up down here? Pretty well. Um, you haven't built anything yet. You're missing red inserters. Okay. Hopefully they can bring them in a jiffy. Here we go. A few more lamps replacing the ones that have gone. And let's just run up and down, make sure they're all working. Is that it? That is probably it. Alright, last thing to check is uh, whether there is too much stuff on this belt, which there does not appear to be. 
Um, we have, I think, 25 of these. Uh, it should all fit on one side as long as they're all being used. If they're not, that could be a problem, but um, I mean, some are going in here to replace those construction robots. And the rest are coming down here. It's probably still not enough. But it's better than it was. Now, um, how are we going to get rid of these other things from here? I'm not sure yet. What have we got in here? 380. That's not particularly good yet. Uh, we need in that pattern, I think, 750. I don't want to have to wait too long. Um, what I actually, what I would like to do while I think about it, is use a radar so that I can see all of this area. It appears that we can't constantly, and we also need to work on getting um, better. Throw the radar in here. Hopefully that will work. Yes, I think so. Um, we need to get the better armor with uh, more legs. Well, with some legs. I don't think I've got any legs in here. No, I don't. Um, with some legs so that we can move around the base a bit better. Um, let me just have a look what the story is up here. We've got one, two, three. They're fully built out. We um, have the T and Z balanced, but we don't have one of the A's along here. We are missing it on substations, actually. It looks like everything else would be able to build another one, but because we're missing substations, it hasn't laid another one. So we're stuck with just the three patterns for the moment. Maybe I actually need to increase the substations input into here. Have we got three? You'd think that would be enough, wouldn't you? Um, it is going to be quite a while for all of those accumulators to load up, but if we have 900, we need, if we were to wait till about 600, we would have, um, I think, enough for two more patterns. Uh, not that we need this. We've actually shut down the steam engines completely at this point. Because um, we're not doing very much. We're not doing science. Do I have room for more batteries? Uh, hmm. They definitely appear to be the thing holding us back. That's in the way. This path is in the way, but we could move that. That plus this unloading function would be the two things that are in the way. Uh, let me just have a look on the map as to what sort of build up we have here. Um, 587, 3, actually, there's more stone than anything else. Um, stone we can recycle directly. Um, it's called on via here. Uh, so it will get recycled directly um, if these things were in the network. Which they currently are not, but that is something that could be changed fairly easily. So now they are. Uh, what have we got? 245, 246. Can I wait for 50 more to go into both so that we actually have 600 of them? 
500 from this point. Uh, what else are our objectives um, aside from building out our power facility? Um, our next one is probably to get uh, concrete in place. Oh my goodness, this iron ore is no more. So what do we need for concrete? We need iron ore, stone brick, and water. Iron ore, stone brick, and water. Well, I guess we could intercept uh, some of the iron ore coming into here. Um, I was going to do it before this was completely gone, but this is completely gone. Uh, likewise, this copper is basically history. Uh, the one that surprises me is we actually have uh, 10k of stone here still. Um, which is kind of amazing. But um, yeah, so we have the stone brick. Um, we can intercept ore coming off one of these trains. And we could make uh, concrete, say, up here. What do we need for this fancy re reinforced concrete? Twice as much concrete sort of gets halved, and steel. We don't need steel in that one. We don't need reinforced concrete for anything we have to build, do we? No. Let's just... No, oh, that's not the thing that we're especially interested in. The specially interested in one is that one. And that is just normal concrete. Uh, okay. I mean, I suppose the other thing that I could do is intercept the iron ore from up here and um, that would then give me all the ingredients I need to make concrete, would it not? Stone brick, water, yes, we could actually create concrete just locally and then create silos from that. Uh, what else do I need concrete for? I don't think I really need it for anything. How are you going? 621. Okay, let's send this to Solar U. Uh, we don't actually have to be up there. But I do want to see how all of this works. As soon as it's uh, unloaded enough of the substations, which is 49 of them. We should see the count start. Um, and as soon as it gets to the required level. Oh, that is a mistake. We definitely don't want this happening. I'm going to have to go up there and fix that. I totally forgot about that. Um, I've got normal stack inserters unloading that carriage. And yeah, that is not going to work. Go to hashtag solar. We can still see if it has done its expansion or if, when it does its expansion to another row. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to fix up this little situation. How are we going here? C3, there you go, it's expanded out. Um, the bots are starting to clear this stuff. Um, let's change these guys. To... Those, and you can be... Uh, you can be substations, you can be... Those guys, and you can be radars. Oops, they're just here. Radar.
Right. So how's this whole process going? Seize three. We're still building, I guess. But fairly quickly. Um, I think we've fixed that issue. Uh, really would like to see this train come and deal with it. There's enough of those ingredients. Um, how is UPS at this point? We're actually at 7.3. That's partly because no construction manages virtually nothing. Oh, recursive blueprints uses a lot. Okay, that's good to know. So, um... We want to basically finish this whole exercise before we get seriously into our our factory at large. I guess this is constantly regenerating the blueprint um, because the signal is being given to it constantly. So the way to stop recursive blueprints uh, doing this would be to um, you know shut down the, just pulse the signal. Although that could then cause an issue with this X and Y, I'd have to fix that as well. But um, that would be okay. So the robots are starting to slow down. Let's get rid of that. There's not that much more here to do. Should I see if I can implement these changes so that this doesn't keep doing that? Just pulse it. I don't think a minus um, if you were to give the recursive blueprint constructor a minus I don't know if that would cause it an issue or not no it does actually cause an issue it deletes the blueprint which is not what I wanted to do so I can't just pulse it the way I would normally Oh, has it extended out again? Yes, it has. It's extended out again. Um, how many resources do we have here? 635. So we're not going to have enough for that one. These others might have enough. Um, oh, it's, it's going to run out actually as well. Let's go back to base. This should work now because those are stack filter inserters. Um, this thing is... Well, it looks like it's now creating accumulators and uh, solar panels at about the same rate at least. So, I guess the condition that I would like to have
on here. Is um. Solar circuit condition, so I could actually just program it in here. Let's go um, item count and another item count and a, another item count. So this one, oh, and make these ands. So the first one will be solar panels um, equals 4000. This one will be accumulators equals 4000. And the final one will be uh, substations equals 150. And that's fine, and the others will do whatever they need to. That's an acceptable condition. This will take care of itself at this point. Um, I think that will do for now. Next episode, we will set up uh, silos, manufacture at least, uh, or concrete and silos, so that we can build concrete. Uh, we also need to look at getting ourselves some proper some proper equipment in terms of legs and um, the rest of it. Uh, so that means we need to somehow build some speed modules and efficiency modules. Um, I might have I might put some little hack in here, so concrete and silos, and then hack for um, speed modules just so that they. Uh, they they kind of get done for us, um, and do we need them for any of the other things? I don't think so. That's just lots of fusion um, legs, uh, just processing units. That's nothing. Oh, I don't I don't need shields. I don't need to worry about that. So a couple of those is just tons of processing units and. Um, legs, electric engines, processing units, night vision, and this thing itself. So yeah, but we'll do that next episode. Thanks for joining me for this one. Look forward to seeing you in the next. Bye-bye for now.